My name is Solve van Mar. Welcome to Are You Viking Enough? The Viking Triangle in Waterford uh, is, a piece of, is a piece of land, triangular piece of land between two rivers where the Vikings settled, just as in Dublin they settled between two, uh, a great river and, and its tributary river. So it's, it's, it's very typical, I think, of the way the Vikings tended to settle here in Ireland. And we have to remember that at the time, traveling by sea was much easier than traveling by land. And this gave the Vikings a tremendous opportunity. Waterford City was founded in 914 and last year we celebrated our 1100th anniversary. And it was founded after the return of the Vikings to Ireland, or at least the return of the warrior class of Vikings to Ireland. They were driven out in 902. We have to remember that invading Waterford at the time with its impenetrable walls was no easy task. And they came back in 914 to Waterford first and to Dublin in 917. And then the Vikings from Waterford brought an army and uh, joined up the army from Dublin and they invaded England and they captured the city of York in England in 918. So there's, uh, there's a link between uh, Britain and Ireland in that. And of course it was part of, of a sea kingdom rather than a, a land kingdom. Viking comes from Vík or Bay. But why did the Vikings sail all the way from Norway to Vedrafjörður or Waterford? And so why did the Vikings come to Waterford? Well, Vikings looked at the political situation. They always tried to settle between no man's land, between rival powerful Gaelic lords or Irish lords. And the idea behind this was there was someone else's problem. Now I'm posing as Reynald, the founder of Waterford. So we're standing on the steps in Reginald's Tower. These steps are called trip steps. The steps are all uneven, and the idea behind that was if anybody broke into the tower or tried to invade the tower, it would make it very difficult for him to get up the stairs. Also, you can see the spire of the stairs goes in a left circle. That means that when they're going up the stairs, they're trying to hold on with a low ceiling and they can't use their swords. All they can do is point forward, whereas the defenders have plenty of space to slash and fend off their attackers. So with the trip stairs, or the trip steps, and the low roof, and it's going in a left circle, it was an ingenious way to defend the tower. So here we are in Warford City. Uh, Warford is the oldest city in Ireland, founded in 914 by the Viking Ragnall. And this is the same Ragnall the TV series Vikings is very loosely, and I do say very loosely, based upon. Many people think about Vikings with helmets with horns on them, raping and pillaging. But wasn't there more to the Vikings? So how do you think it, it would have been to be a prisoner here? I think it, it would have been kind of weird and kind of scary too, because it, be so it would have been yeah, miserable. It would be scary yeah. in the prison because yeah. it would smell like a bunk bar. Yeah. No, but the, it would be scary for the children, because yeah. the children would need a home, and, yeah, and their parents might be in jail. And, and, and they, they might have to go into jail with And they parents. separated you. Yeah, they separate families. families. They would have to separate cha families, and the children would have to go to and another family member. To to and they would, to, and they, yeah. they would have to do their stuff in the, a bucket. And there's yeah. no toilet. Yeah, just, just a bucket. bucket. Just yeah. bucket. Oh my goodness. And they have to share a room. And, like a dog and room. the one have to do everything. I'm so glad everything. that it's, a ye it's illegal to do this now. Like in so many other countries, the Vikings started integrating with the natives bestowing peace rather than feudality.